Hey guys, for anybody out there who's basically been experiencing hair fawning, particularly women, I think, um, I'll address here. When we have hair that starts fawning, um, there can be many reasons for it and it can be quite scary. I went through a period in 2016, the end of 2016, where I was extremely stressed out and went through what I'd call a mini breakdown, like my life just came to a standstill and I wasn't feeling good and about life or anything in general. And as a result of that, I, I wasn't eating correctly. And bit by bit, um, I was, you know, probably for a few months, stress levels were really high. Eventually, by May 2017, I went to get a blood test because my hair would not stop falling and it was really scary for me. And I know that it is scary when it happens to people. And particularly, I think, being a woman, you know, it can be, I don't know what it's like for men, but I know that it, I'm sure it's scary too, but it was really uncomfortable situation to be going through and put a lot of fear in me because then you think oh my god is it going to grow back so a lot of hair in the you know when you have a shower like loads of hair coming out and eventually in May 2017 I went to get a blood test and I'll explain something to you about what's called ferritin levels ferritin is what helps the hair grow it's to do with iron levels and ferritin and um, for hair to grow normally and healthily Ferritin levels need to be at 70. When I had my blood test results in May 2017, my ferritin level was at 28. It was really low. And thankfully, I have a friend in London who's a nutritionist, and I had words with her, and she gave me a list of foods which are called blood tonics. And also, we can get something like an iron, liquid iron supplement. We don't need to take, um, you know, pills. There are liquids that are natural that you, we can buy and I know for me which one worked for me because some of them can be too harsh on the stomach so we have to make sure that we're not you know taking something that's upsetting us further. The point is is that the list of foods, the blood tonic foods, I started implementing them into my diet and then three months later I had another blood test and at least I knew at that point with my ferritin levels at 28 I knew what my goal was 70 and it takes time to rebuild those levels. It does not happen overnight. So it's a case of changing your diet and integrating the things that are healthy and that will enhance your hair growth. So basically for me now, it's um, we're 2018, July 2018, and I've literally got a whole new head of hair. And um, not that anybody would know that, it didn't all fall out all at once. But as it grows through, little bits were growing through. And so all of my hairs on my head, they're all at different lengths, which you can't really see. Um, but I know that they're all at different lengths. But, you know, I've got some hair growth that's gone on, which has really pleased me. I also, when I got my um, blood, last blood test done, because I was going every three to four months, literally, to that, check my ferritin levels, my last count of ferritin was at 60. So I've still got a little bit of a way to go, but it just makes you aware that you need to look after yourself and that food is important and so are the blood tonic foods. Um, do get a blood test if you're not sure whether that is your issue because it could be anything. And But for me, it's been resolvable through eating blood tonic foods and looking after myself and also alleviating stress and anxiety, which is really important. But sometimes if we hit a really bad patch in life, then you know we don't just come out of it overnight. We have to work on our emotions and get the help that we need and start to look at our life so that we get to a better place overall. Thanks for watching, I hope this is helpful. And if you've got any questions, then message, um, put a message below or visit my Letting Go Techniques Facebook page, Penelope Rider Letting Go Techniques. And if you want more updates on my video, then hit the notification button. Thanks for watching. Thank you.